Ruby Soso took on Riho. And I, I can't remember. Remember when they signed Ruby Soso and she got the music from uh, Lars Fredrick. Rancid. Rancid. And Whip and she was she was the goddamn she was the runaway or the outcast or whatever the fuck she was. She got videos and she was gonna be pushed to the moon. And now she's flunkifying for Riho. Her name is Riho, and she don't weigh 90 pounds. And when she hits the mat, well, it barely makes a sound. And when she's booked, you know, the house is really down. Oh, Riho, Riho, well, she's just a mud show clown. So you're looking at this in a real negative way. I think we should look at this as a positive. This really showed how gutsy Tony Khan is as a promoter. This was the nine o'clock hour. Yes, it was. Nine o'clock, and that's why I wrote, can you imagine? And by the way, it went through a break. Actually, I watched the break. I didn't watch the match. There was an iron claw spot in the break. But can you imagine a WWE fan or an old school wrestling fan that hasn't seen anything in a while accidentally finding out there might be a wrestling program on him flips over and sees Ruby Soso versus Riho. And it's so sad. And, and guess who's going to win because Kenny and Riho wins. It's sad. I mean, we haven't been a fan of Ruby Soso's, but she was, she worked for a real promotion. She's a recognized talent. She, She's got a nice looking little gimmick. It's not a complete parody or a joke or some kind of somebody's sad fetish idea or idea of, of what is this kind of idea that Kenny's got that these girls are going to get over that he keeps bringing in. He believes in Japanese wrestling and he believes that even if any of the things defy logic, like a 75 pound girl being able to beat some of the biggest people like Nyla Rose was someone she beat several times in back in the early days. Doesn't matter. It's all part of the beautiful art that is wrestling. It's as long it's, as you can kick out of a move, you could be a wrestler. If you could lift your shoulder on two and three quarters, you could be a wrestler too. This is not about even liking Japanese wrestling. I'm not scoffing at the people who like the legitimate top guys in Japan and or top girls, if there is such a thing. And this is an obvious parody of she doesn't belong in a fucking ring. It's ridiculous. Not everybody can play. It's like if I, when I was a kid, they had an ABA team in Louisville, the Kentucky Colonels. And I loved the red, white, and blue ball. And I had one and I had a basketball goal at the end of the driveway out here at the castle. And I got quite adept at shooting the three pointer, which was a thing there, but not in the NBA. But no, I didn't ever think that at any point when I grew up that they would let me play for the Kentucky Colonels. Because no, <laughs> they would have been insane. It would have been insulting to the basketball fans that I should become a professional basketball player. And it's insulting to the wrestling fans that they're trying to pass Riho and a few of these other fucking girls that dress up in their pajamas and play act like this in Japan. But they're on national fucking cable television here. And it's insulting. You know, the ABA were an outsider league. I don't think it's outrageous to think if you were really shooting all these threes and you also had, like, Rio doilies around your wrist, maybe they would have brought you in for a halftime thing to entertain the locals. I wanted to beat Louis Dampier. Huh. Did you, watch, anyway. did you watch a lot of games? Uh, yeah, I actually went to one live, too, at the Gardens. They were only here for about three years, and they weren't on TV a lot because there was only three channels, and they expected you to buy tickets. Sound familiar? Yeah. Anyway, you know what Riho needs, don't you? I, she oh, could I turn know. her whole opinion, or my whole opinion of her, she could turn it around, do a complete 360, Please. if she just do no, one thing. 180, 360, wouldn't she end up back where she was? Well, she looks like a person that follows her tail around a lot and ends up back where she started from, but she could do 
all kinds of spinning around and change my opinion if she'd do one thing. Brian, you know what that is? I do not know what that is, no. If she'd gain some weight. Ah. Good Lord. I mean, when she takes a body slam, it sounds like a mouse pissing on cotton. I mean, for heaven's sake, if you revved up your blow dryer to dry your hair, it would blow her out the third floor window. And the only way that I know how she's possibly going to pack some poundage onto that bony skeletal frame is to, as the dream machine used to say, eat some meat and potatoes. And that's a thing you need to do this holiday season, especially the meat. You need to eat a lot of meat, and it all needs to come from our friends at Omaha Steaks, because they got meat. You Boy, wait till you meet their meat. If you meet their meat and greet their meat, their meat you'll find that their meat is the best meat that you'll eat. Because it's, it's, it's butcher's cut filet mignons, which are, they're tender as all get out. And mouthwatering burgers, gourmet jumbo franks. I'm I'm afraid to tell you how big and bulbous and throbbing these jumbo franks are. And they've got easy to prepare meals. They've got the sides like the the uh, scalloped potatoes and and of course the caramel apple tartlet desserts that we all love. And the best part is you can order it for yourself. You can send it to a friend. You can send it to a family member. You can stick it to the man. You can do whatever you want to do at omahasteaks.com and get 50% off site-wide. That means as wide as their site is. So wide you can't get around it. So high you can't get over it. So low you can't get under it. This is a chance to dance your way into steak goodness this holiday season with Funkadelic and Omaha Steaks. Omaha Steaks has nothing to do with Funkadelic, for the record. It's a chance to dance your way out of my... All right, You anyway. like Funkadelic more than Parliament. Yes, yes, I did. Because of One Nation Under a Groove. Because they were getting down just for the funk of it. I thought par like, Parliament was a little too horny for me. Do you like Bootsy's early stuff with James Brown? Bootsy's Rubber Band? I like that. I have several of the albums I bought specifically for the covers because they showed the drawings of the Oriolas on the hot women with large upper frontal protuberances. But back to Omaha Steaks. Jesus. Folks, right now, not only 50% off sidewide when you use the promo code JCE at checkout, you're going to get an additional $30 off. Now think of how much cattle byproduct that is think of how many butchers have to slash and cut and rip and tear to make all that meat for you to enjoy and stick down your gullet this christmas and they're giving it away at this seduced rate i'm 50 percent off and then 30 dollars off on top of that reduced i'm sorry reduced not seduced it's well, a reduced rate said. you said yes. seduced rate well their, their reduced rates will seduce you into buying their fine, tender, juicy meats. I'm telling you, your lips will smack your brains out. When you go right now, they're ready to ship right now. That's, that's what happened to Shibata. That, that's true. His lips they smacked do, his brain out. <laughs> they do have cattle brains also for you on Omaha Steaks, direct from Shibata, Japan. So right now, it, again, they're ready to ship. They've already packed this stuff up. They're just waiting for somebody to come along and take it. So shop early, too late for that. Shop now and beat the rush. Go to omahasteaks.com. Use the promo code JCE, 50% off site-wide. Minimum order may be required, but what are you, some kind of cheapskate? And then $30 off on top of that. Five generations of family-owned expertise at Omaha Steaks. The Omaha family have been the leading name in meat and meat byproducts for five generations now, and they're going to continue to lead through this holiday season, saving people all this money. That's right. Omaha Steaks, one more time. What's that promo code, Jim? J-C-E, Brian. Well, not J-C-E, Brian, but just J-C-E. But I'm, I'm exclaiming your name because I'm answering you with an obvious answer of things that I've already said you weren't paying attention to. I was paying attention. We have to make sure the audience is not confused. They know what the promo code. What is the promo code? OmahaStakes.com. What is it, Jim? 
As just said, it's JCE. It hadn't changed in the last 30 seconds. You're confusing people now with your continuing to, to beat this dead horse. And I'll tell you one thing about Omaha Steaks. You're not going to get dead horse meat from <laughs> Omaha Steaks. No, no you you will not say, because I've ordered at another one of the big box sh steak shippers. I could still see the marks where the jockey had been beating it. But not at Omaha Steaks, folks. They do not use that part of the equestrian. No. No, I'm sorry. I'm a little distracted. One of the listeners <laughs> sent us a video of Lacey Evans nude on the internet. <laughs> well, no wonder you're distracted <laughs> enough where you won't deny that the sponsor sells horse meat. OmahaSteaks.com. Promo code JCE, no horse meat, but it sounds like mama has her fucking udders out. That's right. With Omaha Steaks, promo code JCE, back to dynamite.